What I'm going to do is it's kind of like an informal fellowship. Um, fellowships are kind of what pharmacists do in the industry. Um, so what will happen is, is I'll do a training one year and then I'll come back and I'll be over the formulation part of making the drugs here in South Carolina for Nephron Pharmaceuticals. Mr. and Mrs. Kennedy, they're great people. Um, actually last year I met them, they uh, sponsored the pharmacy school alumni tournament. And they actually sponsored a student team and that's when I met Mr. Bill and Miss Lou. And just sitting there and talking to them, they were just great people and it's hard to believe that when you meet them that they're just these people that, I mean, gave $30 million to our school. I mean, they're just down to earth and they are, they're just good people. And when I went, and I actually went to Nephron and there it was, it was amazing. It was like, to me, it was kind of like working at like a mom and pa store, except for pharmaceuticals. I will be over the people who making sure that they clean, they're sterile and that their techniques like pretty much flawless because if they're not, then you can have organisms in the drug and that could be a huge recall. I came to University of South Carolina because they have a great, they have great schools in science and engineering and math and that's what I knew I wanted to be. And then when I switched over to pharmacy, decided the pharmacy is what I wanted to do. I mean, their pharmacy school is one of the top in the nation and they merged it together with the one at MUSC and that just made it that much greater. My first year in pharmacy school, P1 year, I was actually a student in student senate. Um, got heavily involved in that and it was very, it was very amazing how much students actually do at the University of South Carolina. I don't think a lot of students realize how much input that the students here actually have.